They are territory of ghosts even, you know that? You didn't know, did you? No. You wouldn't see it either. Yes, you never see them. The thing is, we have territory of different category. Just like we human, in the physical world, we have the urban city are crowded, mostly similar kind of people who gather there because of their interests. You know, like government employees, mostly they like to live near the capital together so that they can work easily. And then uh, the one who serve the government employee also live around there. And the one who work, especially who are selling things, you know, for the government uh, officials and stuff like that, they also live around there. Yeah. And those who connect with those, <laughs> connect with this and that, they connect together, they live there. And we, I, you, you, I, and connect with each other because Sura Gama Sutra, so we are here together tonight. And we connect with each other spiritually. So every weekend or something, you come here and see me. I don't live in the middle of the city. Different interests. Mm. So maybe we can call this spiritual ashram. Eh? This is our zone, you see? Spiritual zone. And the city is a capital zone for different kind of people. Mm. Capital people. Uh, city people, yeah, and a farm, sometimes very big field, with different farmers, they live together, and farming zone. There are ghost zone. Don't ever go there. Okay. Ghost zones are mostly in some very remote area, and uh, people don't live there. Because ghosts, they are also afraid of people, the virtuous, upright, moral, fit people. So they are not allowed to go near these people. At least their energy will harm them. Not allowed to. The God, the angel, will not allow them. Sometimes they slip through, or they don't go there, but they can send their energy. If they're powerful, they can send energy to different places sometimes to harm people. But mostly ghosts have the ghost zone. Hmm? Okay, but ghosts is like also human being. They do illegal stuff sometimes. <laughs> they go illegally to some human zone and get caught, you know, and sent back to hell or wherever they belong. Hmm. Ghosts also have laws, yeah. Also have ghost police, <laughs> ghost court, <laughs> ghost supreme court. <laughs> I started throwing food out my kitchen window for the ghosts like an offering of food out my kitchen window, and now the birds don't come to the bird feeder. And I kind of think this offering for the goats. And, and then the bird I have came? no birds in my bird feeder. I don't know if it's from the goats or... Oh, it could be, could be. Yeah, the ghosts can also manifest it as birds or possess the body of the bird, just as some of them can possess some human body to enjoy that, okay? You do what you do, okay? You just intend it for the ghosts and then whatever happened, happened. <laughs> I, I use a plate, you know, a clean plate that I use it myself. I use it and put different food, yeah. if I have it. If I don't have, I use some other thing so that all the food contain on it and clean. Yeah. It's very bad already, it's suffering already to be a ghost, so hungry ghost, yeah, very suffering. So I don't discriminate, I give them. Mm. And there is a mantra, you can multiply it. It's very old, ancient, in Sanskrit. But uh, if you have power or not, <laughs> it's not about talking or repeating a mantra. It has to have power. Maybe listening for me, you might have. Don't abuse it. Yeah. Recite the five names, also okay. See, in your heart say you want to offer to the ghost and may others don't interfere, let them enjoy. Hmm?